Right, good morning everyone. A couple of things this morning. I've got some decoupage glue. I've got um, a couple of these that I've done. Remember I got these out of all the jewellery kits, things that I bought. And they've just been sat, so what I've done is I did actually use just normal PVA glue. And I poured the glue in and then I, I sprinkled in some of these seed beads. Added the little roses and the little bling centre, perfectly fine. And uh, a handmade charm. Just something different. And then this one, I actually used this, uh, this stuff. And it's uh, flakes. And the nail art. So I thought, you know what? We can buy that, use it somewhere else. And I just made that one. I have a cog I want to put in the middle. So I've just got to set that cog and straighten that up. That's it. And then that's another one done. But first of all, I'm going to share something else with you. Right, so what I've got is some decoupage glue. These wooden discs. I mean, we've been selling these for years. Flip that over. I sell these in packs on the shop. You get about five or six different colours. Um, and then while we're waiting for that, I'm just going to cut out these pictures. Just smooth that out. Now, what you do is get some scissors, just in case it is a little... Um, you know, if it doesn't lay flat, it won't hurt the picture at all. And just snip, pull back and snip. Now this is proper decoupage paper. Now that's got a crease in there. So I'm just going to cut that and put one down and one on top. And then just use the decoupage glue to go over. And smooth it out with the tip of your brush like that and then just let that dry because you've got to get that on first see like that and I'm pushing that out that's it oops like that and that will be fine so we'll let that dry before we sort it out so I'm just going to do another one now, I really, and you know, I want to do it like that, so I'm basically just going to make sure that I've got everything. Leave a little bit over because you need to be able to hold it. Well, that's given me the rough place where I want it to be. So, again, I mean, you could just, to be honest, let's just snip it. You can do it whichever way suits you and you're comfortable with. Now you can do that, hold on to it, decoupage this side of it, right? Pop that on so you get it in the right place, like that. That's it. I mean, you can paint them white first. You don't have to um, leave them silver. I mean, they're all different colours. It's just we do sell a bag of them. They're all wooden discs, different sizes as well, some of them. And they're just a great way to use embellishments. I'm going to show you another way to use it in a minute. So again, we can either decoupage the thing itself and then pop the picture on top.
there we go so we can wait for them to dry and then we just trim around them and you could add lace around them they're great for doing a little lace button what we're going to do file off the excess I've got the glue gun on and all I'm going to do, say with this one, oh, if my glue gun's ready, is all I do is pop a little bit of glue around the edge and start and put the chain on it like that. That's fine, it will hold in place. And you wait for that to dry. Like that. So you can put your little bit of bling on if you want to. And then once that's dry, not quite dry enough, but um, that's fine. Take all your loose glue off it. So you've got that. And then you take hold of your trim and you can start adding it to the back. So, you can do little decorations like that for your projects. Oh, he's pushing in a little bit, that's fine. Or you can just leave them blank. And then what I would do is to go over with... Um, now I've got this one, which is the... It's like a crackle accents. I've got a string on me. Open that up again, because it dries. I can't find the lid for... Oh, God, I've bent the pin now. Just pop some of that on. That was clever, it's dropped on the floor. We'll take this one. Just going to wet that first and then dry it off. And then I'm putting like a sheen on it. See like that, and that will protect that. Now, the other option you can do with things like this, um, you can buy cabochons. I've got some large ones there. And you can, I'll show you in a minute, because there's lots of ways. I was just showing you how to use these wooden discs up. But, you know, turn that into that. And that can be used anywhere. But with a cabochon, I'm just showing you, you don't need to, if you don't want to use these, obviously, or you don't have them or you can't afford them, uh, but you might have an odd cabochon, like that one. They're nearly as big, nearly the same size, should I say. Uh, then what you can do is this. You can take your cabochon, 
Okay. You can add your glue like that. You don't need much. You pop that on and you move that around till you've got it where you want it. And I'm happy for that to be there. And then when it's dry, you just simply trim it off and then you can cover this uh, add diamante like I've done with that one or just lace or pearl they look nice with a pearl so let's just have a look I shall show you what I mean so I've got a little bit of pearl trim somewhere here I think we can use this yes that's a nice size let that dry really start always start at the bottom sometimes it's a uh, you know i've got a gap there now but that's no problem because i will probably put a little flower up there or something to cover that but you should always start at the bottom uh, and i can do a double layer which i might do actually sprinkle that around i'll push it around should i say i'm going to try and get it like that so let's have a look I mean, you can do as many layers as you want. It's up to you. Like that. You could use um, a smaller trim or something like that. That's no problem. And uh, they look quite nice. That's going to look nice, isn't it? Let's just do. Let's do a smaller trim around that one. I think. With that, so we've now got that. They just like that, they're just so easy to do, and you can do them anyhow you like. So, I hope that's helpful. Embellish them, do whatever you want. This was the lining in the paper, as you can see, it's got lines in the paper, so it's not the creases, it's lines in the paper. But I like that, right? Don't forget to drop in at the shop. Uh, we have got lots and lots and lots of goodies for you. There's tons of laces, there's tons of pill, loads of pill strings in all different shapes and sizes. Flat back, small, round, you know, squared, heart shaped. There's loads of um, flat back pearl embellishments. We've got just loads. Have a good browse through. Use the search bar, look for lace or trims or braids. And if you're looking for beaded stuff, just put beads in or bead. Bead or beads. I'm not sure. I know when I look for it on my website, I can't, I, if I put beads in, it'll be just anything I've put with bead without the S. So I have to put the S in to get anything that I've done with beads. That's just the way it is for me. So I'm not sure if you get the same problem as that. But uh, hey-ho, it's um, it, just put in anything and everything that you're looking for. They're all categorised categorized and like i say we've over 600 odd items at the moment now and check out all the varied stick pins we have we have luxury um economy and we've got a middle one 
And then we've got individual stick pins, stick pins ready-made, stick pins to make up. Our little bags of beads and that are just gorgeous. And I'm just doing these at the moment. I'm going to show them to you. Um, I've got some loose beads, a big, big tub of loose beads. And I'm bagging them up right now. So there'll be all kinds of beads in them. Uh, and these are just 50p a bag. You're getting tons. Some of them are lampwork beads. Some of them are many of them are glass beads. But you're getting all different ones. And 50p a bag. Which is good for what they are. Even these are glass. Oh, a lot of them are glass. I know the blue ones are, definitely. Crystal beads. A good variety of beads in there. Look at these. Beautiful ones. Not that one. And that one. Good mixture. 50p a bag. Can't go wrong. Right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Take care and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye for now.